I just have about a half a can of spray paint. The parts store is This week, the guys at Bet Motorsports try to see if a 1997 Ford Explorer can make it up John Bull, and they run into some problems. What is this? But first, before they go out, they got to build the dang thing. So we're back at Bet Motorsports with the guys to see if you can assemble an entire truck in three to six hours. We're at Bet Motorsports, off-road motorsports. Um, Jake decided that we were going to do a custom mid-travel kit slash rear reservoir shock slash rear out of leaf slash uh, potentially diff drops, potentially uh, <laughs> There's a lot going on right now if you can't tell. It's called delusions of grandeur, right? Something like that. So we're doing rock sliders. Uh, we have new lower control arms that were just replacement stock. Uh, the uppers Jake made a jig for and then made uh, uniball uppers for that are all adjustable behind. Um, what else? We have shock hoops. Uh, Fox 2.5 or 2.0? 2.0. Yeah. We're not balling yet. So, it's gonna be thick. I mean, it's, it's this has all happened in the last three days, so we kind of, I kind of pushed it to the last minute. Three days? Parts have been coming in for the past like week and a half. Execution of all parts now that they're here has been like three or four solid days. Yeah. And the last two days have been Jake not working at all, except for on his own shit, so that's cool. Poor luck. I'm just trying, I'm just here to help. Aren't we supposed to go somewhere in this truck tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, it's on the lift right now. We're going, we're going. Jake, yeah? we're at the paint. Um, just cleaned up the passenger side frame. I should have just made spacers to go in between these misalignments or found the right stack height. Putting on lower shock taps. When you stack the two misalignments together, it makes the perfect width or whatever, and you can get offset ones, yada, 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 but I didn't. Uh, we're gonna put the hoop in next, fit everything up, make sure we're in the right spot, probably cycle it on this side as well, just to make sure we're all good. Why not? We might not have time for that. It's like how I barely got pulled in the long half. It'll be fine though. We're making our way downtown. We're walking fast. And if I'm not mistaken, you seem to be headed for a little bit. Nope, I'm grateful. Yeah, sure, you're good. They'll wash your ears. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to leave the spirit of Bet Motor Sports and get your rig ready before the day of wheel. You know, not a big deal. Just relocated a, uh, just relocated a little oil filter right there. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks to the groovers. Hold on. Progress was being made, and don't get us wrong, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned last-minute build with your buds. But as we all know, after dark is where things get a little bit harder for some reason. And this time was no exception. All we gotta do now is I gotta make the tabs to put the limiting straps on. I just huffed about a half a can of spray paint, so I'm feeling super good right now. Uh, I've checked like 27 things off the list, such as make skid plates for the rest of the undercarriage. Um, I see the end in sight. It's a fun project. I'm stoked on it. So my exhaust is for sure toast this weekend. Transfer case hopefully doesn't take too much of a beating gas tank. Oh. I think the uh, the fit and finish is good. I think our alignment side to side, as far as like how everything fits, is pretty pretty symmetrical. I'd say the alignment's going to be what takes a lot of time here because I didn't put the double adjusters in. I couldn't fit them with how short these arms are. So, oh, it's off. Take everything off the upper control arm, pull it out, make a couple turns on the Heim, put it back in, bolt it all together. So, uh, um, shit. It's Matt. Matt. It's Matt. Hey Dave, what you doing? You're in the elevator, what are you doing? Russo, could you not? We're still here at the shop. And I feel bad about that, I really do. But I hear you're making progress. Yeah, we are. The uh, traffic slowed down to 20 miles an hour. 
And when we finally got to the uh, 18 at the bottom of the mountain, we sped up again. Four hours it took to get here. I wish I was there. Got to be honest. We're rotating the tire. Just another service we perform here at Ben Martin Ports. Right now, it looks a little bit low on the front. Realistically, we should have tightened down the spring first, and then once we loaded it, then that's when the limiting strap goes on. We'll see if we blow out those inner bump stops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. All right, let's reload the springs. Back it up. What a waste of a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be happier. Great day. Plus the offset, right? So the camper is a little not where exactly where I want it, but it just is what it is. I should have uh, dropped the diff a long time ago. I should have dropped the diff earlier this week, but whatever. Us not doing the diff drop, and we kind of had to limit the travel. So right now we're we should be if we weren't limited by the by the front diff, we'd be like right in the middle of the travel, which is good, but. Mess. None, no batteries are going to be charged when David comes in. Cool, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of Don't post that. She doesn't know. Next time on Bent Motorsports. Want to go uh, wheeling? No. Are you stuck? No, I'm just you know, working my way up. <laughs> <laughs>